Hello, my name is Sydney Lang, and this is my response to roles and responsibilities as a reading slash literacy specialist. Uh, to begin with, uh, looking at my role or the literacy specialist's role within the school leadership team and among the staff, I, pr I see that as a part of a big working system within the school. Um, the literacy specialist is helping at all levels of the school um, with students, teachers, leadership um, in the leadership team. Kind of like once they've talked to teachers and deep dived and data collected uh, with their students, then bringing back what their findings are and then having that knowledge of what can be done to improve or push students to where they need to be. And that kind of goes hand in hand with the staff as well. What can, how can they use different strategies or interventions within their classroom to meet those needs of those students and to continue to push students to get them to meet their goals and standards and objectives and all that good stuff within the, um, within changes to literacy and how it's affected the role i think it's been really some historical changes have been looking at like what is foundational like what are foundational components of reading such as like the five um essential reading components of phonemic awareness um or phonological awareness phonics, vocabulary, comprehension, fluency, and then also looking at uh, Scarborough's rope, reading rope, and just saying what is needed in how do students learn reading, and that I th another key piece is like reading is not an innate knowledge within the brain. It has to be taught and gone over and over and, and practiced. So then kind of making sure that as the literacy specialist, knowing what, how to target those different skills and practice them efficiently across the board with not only students, but teachers as well. And then that kind of goes along with applying um, evidence-based and not uh, foundational knowledge to help support educators within their reading instruction is what you know will greatly impact students' reading success and how to target those specific skills and get students to grow with um, evidence-based and um, research-based strategies. Like that, the first thing that comes to mind is or Orton and Gillingham um, OG and like the multi-sensory experience and having students be involved at lots of different engagement and means to manipulate uh, different skills within reading. Um, looking at the vision, the literacy vision of a school slash district is seeing what their vision is as a whole and then fine tuning that to um, what their wants or needs are within literacy and make students um, successful in their academics, specifically reading, of course, and then tailoring what need, what the students need and then helping the school and district um, meet their goals within that vision for literacy. Contributing with teachers across the board um, while using data to support student learning and literacy programming kind of takes place within first that step of knowing your students and knowing the teachers and building that relationship and then having your groups with your different students that need have needs and then effectively supporting them and then sharing your findings with the te teachers and vice versa and just having this collaborative space across all levels of students or all levels of the community within the classroom community, the teachers, students, and then being really knowledgeable within your data and how you've organized that and then how you are going to share um, that back and forth with like what you notice and how teachers uh, look at that data. And then as 
a reading slash literacy specialist making decisions that help promote the common good for the environment the across the board with students, families, and colleagues um, that also align with Christian worldviews is just being having that um, awareness and eth- ethical slash moral compass of what is good and right and instilling properties such as like integrity and doing the right thing when nobody is watching um kind of also that goes to with in students and families and colleagues like they notice your actions and they will in turn within students you can model that as well and then the people around you will know that know that and see your reputation and then take that into accountability as well that you're a reliable and trustworthy individual that has um again that compass that is leading you um in a clear good direction that is upholding good within the world